Hello everyone, this is Paul from Orthoway Valpal, and what I want to do is cater to questions today, and recently on YouTube, the, the number of questions has, has gone through the roof, and we've had this significantly high number of questions regarding posterior tibial tendonitis, and people are, are saying, you know, I, I got out and did some running, started probably a little too hard, flared this up, and I just, I can't even walk on this anymore. So, just because you can't walk on it doesn't mean you broke something or something is tragically wrong, but sometimes you just load the tissue in your foot a little too much, a little too fast, um, and not you know taking your time to get up to speed and, and to, to get up to your mileage. So you can cause a lot of irritation and inflammation to this posterior tibial tendon that comes around this bone, attaches here and has another branch that comes down and attaches to the bottom of the foot. They help to support the arch this way and they help to push the foot down. Well, if you're doing a lot of running, uh, let's say maybe on a cambered road and the foot is going out to the side a lot, maybe pushing up really hard, this muscle's really not strong enough yet to support the arch really well, and you get done your running and you're in a lot of discomfort. One of the things I do with patients with acute posterior tibial tendonitis is I'll put them into a lace-up brace just to give them a rest. Now sometimes an orthotic can be okay, but acutely a brace can be just a little bit better because it helps to prevent that ankle from going side to side. Now, I don't like to use just any brace out there. Um, I like to make sure that it's a lace-up brace, and I'm gonna let her start to tie this up. I like to use a lace-up brace, but one that has these straps, and there's a very good reason for that. Um, we don't use braces for a long time because it's very important that your foot and ankle take a load to it, okay? It needs to be able to have some stress to it in order for it to be strong and tolerate the things that you do like walking or standing for a long period of time in one position or maybe going out for a run. So go ahead and uh, we will tie this right up. We'll just do the top. This brace is a little bit big because I didn't have one for her side size, um, but that's okay. We can make do for today. So. I like the lace-up part because it gives us some good stability side to side, but the foot can still rock a little bit, okay? So I really like these figure eight straps that we take just like this, we crisscross over the top, all right? And then we crisscross them underneath also. What I do is I take the one that goes to the outside and I just barely put it on. I put the Velcro on there, but not too terribly tight, just snug um, while that foot is in a neutral position. Then what I do with this brace, and this is the most important part, especially with this strap, what I wanna do is I wanna simulate what that tendon does on the inside, that posterior tibial tendon. So I start where it attaches, and I pull the foot upward and inward a little bit, like this, and then I attach that strap. So it gives this nice support like this. And it's amazing. You know, you don't typically use this type of brace for this type of problem, but I have very good success with this, especially early on when we want to keep that patient active or maybe they need to be active, they need to work, or they need to go to school, or they need to be on their feet. Um, I like to put them in this brace just to let this tendon settle down while letting them still be active, okay? So the most important part about a lace-up brace with straps is that the last part is the inside strap. You pull it up, and you turn that inside part of the arch upward a little bit so that it prevents the foot from collapsing down and out so much when you're bearing weight on it. Um, a very good piece to help, especially early on, but you wanna get out of your brace as soon as possible and uh, start to re-strengthen your foot uh, as, as soon as you can, but not so soon that it causes some irritation or inflammation. So, folks, if you have any questions, leave those questions down in the um, uh, the comment section of this video and I'd be more than happy to try to get back to you with other videos that can help to answer uh, you, some of your uh, issues or problems. Uh, if you um, would, I'd greatly appreciate a like if you like this video and um, subscribe to our channel. That would uh, really help uh, with, our, um, with the growth of our um, company and channel. Thanks.